Frontier Plus stove. Company is Anive. Made in the UK. Actually, I believe this one is produced in China, though, but designed in the UK. So I wanted to get this for a tent that I ordered, and this actually fits the bill perfectly. Here's some of the specs. So you'll see there's a stove, a flue section, spark arrestor, and uh, is that 140, no, 14.9 kilograms net weight. So I don't know what that is. I gotta convert that. Assuming about 40 pounds, it feels pretty dang heavy. But um, it's pretty cool. So if you guys want the website here, sorry I'm spinning around. Anive.co.uk. I'll provide the links. But right now, let's go ahead and break the stove open and uh, show you what it's all about. Okay, so I went ahead and cut open the box. This is how it's packaged inside. Now let me cover up my information here. And we've got, again, the specs. This is what the stove looks like. So, it's pretty cool, I think. I've seen a few reviews on the regular Frontier, but this is the Plus model. It's a little larger and uh, has a viewing window. I think a glass one, which is uh, I thought would be good for illumination purposes. But, as you guys can see, the stove is packaged nice inside. And it comes with some instructions. Setting up your Frontier, using it, and then after use and care. Carry handle on the side, large silica packet, and let's see. Let's set this down. Okie dokie, folks. I got the Frontier Plus from Anive. It's the wood burning stove. Contacted the company that I bought this from, and they were generous enough to just ship me out a brand new piece of glass. So that worked out real good. So I just switched out the door here with the new hinge, and uh, we're set to go. Back in action. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. And we'll set it next to the pool here and uh, just burn that paint off. Alright, so pulling these out one by one. Just make sure. Pipes inside of pipes. A lot of plastic. So you're going to get three pieces here. Each houses its own pipe section. It's a little bit smaller in diameter. So as you guys can see, these are decent quality. It's probably a... Uh, I don't even know. Schedule 304 maybe. Tubing. For your intake. And here. Another two tubes. Now what I'm honestly thinking about doing, since these do kind of look similar, is everybody knows that that's the top of the spark arrestor and another larger tube for it. I think it'd be good to get a paint marker like one of those Sharpies and then put one, one, two, two, three, three, so at least you know which pipes belong to each other because like this, once they're stacked up, if you guys don't remember um, which is which, could get confusing. So let's go ahead and assemble this and uh, I'm going to figure out a way to mark these because I'm known for that. I might just get a scribe and scratch something on there. Alright guys, so we got the sections out here. As you can see, they are put together. They do have reducers in them. So you see have your, I think this is like a three and a half inch, maybe four inch pipe. And then you've got a, a reducer to like four inch or something. Anyways, what you'll see is I do have a pipe measure, but I don't have it on me right now. But yeah. So you reduce as you're going up, each one's going to go through. Now there's two settings for two different heights. So depending on your tent or how high you want to put the chimney, you have that possibility. So right now the configures you got three, 
and you've got the one with the damper on it, reducer, reducer. If you put these all together, you're going to have at least an 8 foot pipe uh, standing up, not including the, uh, the height of the actual stove itself, but just the chimney flues. So, I think this is pretty cool, it gives you two options. But we're going to go ahead and stack it up for the full 8, and uh, I believe 8 feet. I'm just guesstimating. But yeah, so it's pretty cool. Okay guys, so with the Frontier Plus stove, I am 72 inches, which translates into 6 foot tall. So I'm standing up here and you guys can see how much higher this is. So it'll give you kind of a guesstimate for what height you need on these poles. Let's stoke the fire now. And we've got small kindling. I've got some other stuff over here. And we're just going to start it with a fire starter because actually I have to leave soon. So I'm going to do the burn in and have the family members watch it. But So as you guys can see, maybe I don't have a good piece for reference. See the depth of this stove. It's got quite a large cooking surface and I've still got another five inches at least that I could fit this in. So. Yeah, this will fit a good good sized log in there. You've got a nice wide opening. Very cool. So I'm excited to get this one started. So we've got some socks here. I'm going to show you the drying rack capabilities. And we've got the ashtray, which fits somehow in there. If I can get that to pop in. So nothing fancy starting this up. No uh, feather sticks. I'm just going to be burning this one in. So it's more of a mission right now than just having fun. But, um... I do have my knife with me if I need to split up stuff to make it smaller, but I don't think that'll be an issue. So we're going to go ahead and start it with these uh, Extreme Start. Basically just light the wrapper and good to go. So I'm going to start stacking this in here. Just throw some in. Okay, Small pieces, some punky wood, a pine and some oak and a little bit of eucalyptus mixed in here. And some wood chips. So we'll just start this in here. I'm gonna go ahead and position the camera so you guys can see in the stove as it starts to work. So in here, let's go ahead and light it. Yeah, we'll get this fire started. Christianing for Frontier Plus Stove. So it dampers open. Hopefully this stuff's all gonna start catching, but we'll see. Probably should have built it on the bottom of the fire, but you know, it is what it is right now. Alright guys, I will bring you back when we get this thing roaring a little bit. And uh, see if we get some smoke from the chimney, but I think it's going to take a little while. Alright, so a lot of smoke coming back out. We do have smoke coming from the chimney. Let's zoom in here. The smoke is coming out of the chimney. Not the best smelling stuff, but hey. Well, uh, you can see now, let's just zoom in instead of shoving the camera in. Got that flame looking right up that pipe. This looks like it's going good now. So uh, I'm going to stir this up a little bit and see if I can get the flames to uh, pass on the right side of the wood because that's all pine. Come back and now we'll close the door and uh, start burning this in. Okay, so we've got this really just rotted out. You can see something was eating it. This is oak. Good sized pieces. I'm going to lay one on top of the stove so you guys can see. That will fit inside. Not a little bit shorter just for obvious reasons, but I threw one in. You guys can hear that roaring. Sounds like a jet engine. It's really cool. So what you do as plain as you can close it. You've got your damper. You can close that, open it as much as you want. I'm going to keep it open. But 
it's really nice here. So it's got two stages. And now it's quiet. Just hear that crackling through the window. Pretty nice setting, I think, for a tent. Really cool. So two settings. That one cracks it a little bit. Get more airflow. Now you can start to see the paint burning off. Once we get that heat on, that's what we're trying to get rid of right now. Getting all that paint off. I actually can smell it from here. It doesn't smell that good. But uh, it's roaring now. Really nice. I'm gonna keep this glass door closed. All right, so another benefit of this stove obviously is drying wet items. So as you can see, I've just dropped these in some water. Go ahead and uh, evaporate them. See how well this uh, this works. This is putting out a lot of heat. So. Should start drying those out real nice. Looking kind of a pain in the butt for them on, but there we go. You can actually see the steam already coming off the socks now. I'm sure you'd be able to see it more if it was colder, but. See that steam coming off the socks. Frontier Plus, baby, this stove is awesome. Okay, so let's do a cold check real quick. The heat just radiating out, radiating out of this. You guys can see that's a nice hot bed of coals. That'd be perfect for cooking right now. Definitely a good amount of heat coming up. Especially with that door closed, it really concentrates it. Really, really digging this stove. It's totally worth the money. Just burning the stove in, it's already dark now. Just sitting around this outside, it's warm. A lot of radiating heat around the outside, especially on the front, it feels nice too. I really do like the feature of this glass, half glass door, so you can see what's inside, what stage your fire is at, without having to open the door and check it. Still trying to figure out this uh, damper here. I found out that if I if I close it, it starts to kill the flame a little bit, and then I can use the damper on the top of the stove right here. It's kind of hard to see it, but if I turn it sideways, it gets really hot, but it starts to really put out smoke on the top. So to you guys back here. So I'm kind of choking the fire right now. These are really toasty right now. Maybe we got some room now. I guess the good thing about eucalyptus is the bark smolders real nice. Get that tossed in there. I want to get this fire cranking because I don't want to get that chimney burned down. We're gonna crank this fire. Pull it down. Some air now. Have to burn and gauge. 